we're going to look at the across function and we use it to select variables against a particular criteria and then apply a function to the observations in those variables. Easy to use, very useful, stick with me, let's do this, boom shakalaka. We're going to be looking at the MPG data set and just before I carry on, just so that you know all the data that I use in these tutorials, you have access to. So if you don't know how to find the data, if you type in data, open close brackets, control enter, this is a list of data sets that you've got on your computer that you can practice with at home. And so just so that you understand the problem that we're going to try and solve today with the across function, I'm going to have a quick glimpse at the MPG data and you'll notice that we've got a whole lot of variables and some of them are character variables and we might prefer that they be factors. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can change them with one easy step. Right, so we've got, we've started with the MPG data, right, and we've piped that into the mutate function, which basically says we're going to change something, we're going to either change something or create something new. And here's where across comes in. We put in the word across and the across is a function that has two arguments inside it. The first argument is a set of criteria that it'll use to select variables. And the second argument is something that it will apply to those variables, right? So in this case, we've said, where is character? In other words, it will select any of the variables where the variable class is character. And then we've got a comma. I've just put it on the next line for ease of use, but obviously this is one line of code. So comma, the next argument is, as factor. In other words, it will apply the function make this variable into a class factor to each of the selected variables. Okay, and if we run that, let's have a look at what happens. And then I've got glimpse just so that we can have a look at that data set. Control function, there you go. And here you can see these same variables now are factors. So it selected the variables that were characters, changed them into factors. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, boom shakalaka. Now, another use case of the across function, we can use it not only in mutate, but also in summarize. So here we've got MPG, we are grouping by manufacturer, that's one of the variables, easy peasy. Then we're saying summarize. Now, we're saying across, and this is where it's quite, This look at this. We're saying where is numeric? In other words, first of all, it's gonna select variables where the class of that variable is numeric and contains Y. So now it's gonna say, I only want variables where both of these criteria are met. So the variable must first of all be a numeric variable and it must also contain the letter I in the name of the variable. And wherever that is applied, I want the function mean to be applied to each ob observation within that variable. And if we push control enter, let's see what happens. Boom shakalaka, we've got just the very, so here we've grouped by manufacturer, bum, 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 bum. We've got variables that are numeric and each of them contain the letter Y, and we have a mean for each of them. Okay, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, like, comment, share, etc., etc. See you soon. Don't have change, don't do drugs, always do your best. Rock on. Bye.